So hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be deploying a simple basic front-end website into Google Firebase with just three lines of code and in under five minutes. So guys, make sure you watch uh, this whole video because by the end of this video, we will be having this uh, dummy website which we have just created up and running into the Firebase servers. So guys, with this, let us get started. Hey guys, before starting this video, if you guys are into building cool mobile and web applications, then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload any video. Thank you guys and do enjoy this video. So guys, before starting, make sure you have a Google account through which you can log into the Firebase console. Also make sure that you have NPM or the node package manager installed in your system because uh, we will be using the node package manager to install the Firebase CLI. So make sure you have it. And guys, going back to my project file over here, which I've opened in my VS code. So as you guys can see, I have three files over here, the index.html, the index.js and the style.css. So these are some basic common contents of a basic front end website. And we will be deploying all of them to the Firebase server. But before that, we have to set up a Firebase project or we have to create a new app. So back in uh, the Firebase homepage, as you guys can see, we have uh, many options over here. So I'm going to my Firebase console. So I'll just click here in the go to console option over here. And it is going to take me to my Firebase console. And these are some pro projects which I've created earlier. And if you guys are logging into the Firebase console for the first time, then you guys might not have any project because uh, you are using Firebase for the first time. So what you need to do, you need to just go to this add project option, click on this uh, the add project option. And right here, you need to uh, enter the name of your project. So I'll just enter uh, the name of my project, which will be the meal uh, generator. Okay. I'll just use the short short form and I'll hit continue and continue and then I have to select the account whether I want to link a, any account to track the analytics of my website so basically if you uh, do not have a Google Analytics account then what you can do you can use the default account for Firebase and just create project and your project will be uh, getting created and you have to wait for a few seconds and yes yeah, so my project has been created so i'll hit continue and as you guys can see i have this project over here and now i need to specify uh whether it is an ios or an android or uh, just a simple web project so i'll uh, go with the web one and i'll have to register my app so i'll just uh, give the name and I'll just register the app here. You guys can see we, we get an option for the Firebase hosting to be enabled, but we'll be doing this later on. And I'll just register my app. And after that, uh, we need to add the Firebase SDK to our web app. And as you guys can see, these are some script files over here. So I'll just uh, copy all of them. I'll just copy all of them. And I'll go back to my project uh, directory and go, go uh, I'll go back to my index.html file and as you guys, guys can see right right below uh, the script tag for our index.js I'll just paste uh, this over here and, and I'm just going to save it and going back to my Firebase console I'll just continue to the console and now we have uh, the we, we have our web app connected to Firebase over here and now we need to specify which uh, features or uh, we we would uh, like to use in Firebase. So I'm I'll just go with the hosting one, as you guys can see over here. And you can use uh, many other packages like the da database, the storage, then the machine learning kit and all. But uh, in this video, we'll just focus on the hosting. And uh, inside this uh, hosting uh, site, as you guys as you guys can see. I'll just, uh, what I'll need to do is I'll go, first of all, I'm just going to view the doc documentation of how we can proceed from here. So here, as you guys can see, we need to first install the Firebase command line tool. Then we have to uh, set up the project directory. Then we have to deploy it. And yes, yeah, so uh, 
what we need to do now we have to install the firebase command line tool so uh, for that what i i'm going to do is i'm just uh, going to click this link uh, which i get over here and uh, as you guys can see we need to first install for installing the firebase tool we need to uh, run this command in our terminal which is the npm npm install uh, firebase tool so i'll just copy this up from here and uh, if you uh, are not using npm then you you might want to follow another method that is by da downloading their package or something like that but if you install a npm then it will be much more convenient for you so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this and uh, right here in my project directory i'll just uh, create a new terminal and uh, let's make this a bit bigger so as you guys can see right here i'll just paste the command and i'll hit enter and it is going to install the firebase tools uh, in into my system all right so guys here i have my firebase tools uh, fully installed and now after this what i need to do is i need to do a simple login to my firebase console through the terminal as you guys can see so i'll just copy this up and i'll just paste it here that is the firebase login and i'll hit enter so what it is going to do it is going to basically take my credentials uh my google account credentials which is in my uh, laptop and then it is going to try to log into the firebase console through this terminal all right so as you guys can see it is uh, telling me that it has logged in with uh, this particular email id and now after that what uh, we need to do is we need to list our pro projects so i'll just copy this to see uh, what projects we have over here so uh, as you guys can see we have a few projects so some of them are created uh, were created by me uh, earlier so these were some older projects but now uh, we have created this mill generator as you guys can see so we have included the firebase sdk over here so we have connected uh, this web app uh, with uh, firebase Hence, we are seeing this project over here. And now we need to deploy uh, this uh, project uh, to our Firebase hosting. So what we can do is uh, I can again uh, run a command, which should be like uh, the Firebase in it. So I'll just run uh, Firebase in it, enter. And now it is asking me whether I want to proceed or not. So I'll uh, write Y, that is yes and enter so now uh, we have to navigate with our basic arrow keys so we have to uh, specify which uh, service of firebase we would la like to use either it can be the database or the firestore or the cloud functions or the hosting or the storage and there are many other options and we need to navigate with our arrow keys and specify which one we like to use so for now i'll be just using the hosting that is configure and deploy firebase hosting sites i'll hit enter and all right so we did a small mistake here we should have selected it with a space bar not an enter so i'll just uh, try to run it again and i hope you guys don't make the same mistake so yes again why enter and now i'll just choose the hosting then space and then again enter and then now uh, it is going to ask me whether I want to use an existing project or I want to create a new project. So I'll just go with the uh, use an existing project over here. I'll hit enter. And now it is uh, telling me to select that project. So I will have I have my meal generator over here. So this is my uh, meal generator project, which I'm going to host. So I'll just hit enter and then it is asking me what do you want to use as your public directory uh, i'll hit enter again now it is asking me that uh whether uh i should allow firebase to rewrite my index.html file so i have my index.html file over here and firebase is now asking me uh, whether i am going to allow it to rewrite this file so no so i'm not going to allow it to rewrite my index.html so i'll just hit n i'll uh, enter and uh yes yeah, so our uh the it is showing here that the firebase initialization has been completed and as you guys can see we get some 
uh, files over here and we also get a public folder over here so yeah so right now uh we need to enter another command and th this would be the last one that is firebase deploy so it is going to deploy our website so let's see um okay so now it is deploying our website as uh yes so we have our website finally deployed and as you guys can see it has given us a url so this is the URL of my website and this is the URL of the project console. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to control and hit click on it. Just going to open it up. And uh, as you guys can see, we have this uh, success uh, page set up over here. But uh, all right, so, uh, so, so it means that our hosting has been successful, but we don't want this uh, page to come up here we want our website over here which is uh, the this website so we want this website to come over here instead of this page so for that what we need to do is we need to uh, place our index.html and other files inside this uh inside the public folder so i'll just uh copy or maybe move it inside my public folder and uh move and it is asking me whether it should replace the index.html which was generated by firebase so i'll just hit replace okay so now uh, we have the index.html file inside this public folder along with the index.js and the style.css so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh enter this firebase in it uh, again and again i will hit y then i'm going to select with the hosting feature and enter and enter and now it is asking me whether i want to rewrite uh, again the index.html so i'll just hit no and enter and uh, no enter and no enter and again i'll uh, just deploy it firebase deploy so we can do this uh, in in a single time but to show uh, that uh, you guys need to have an index.html file in your project and also uh, now let us see if it is working or not and just control click and i'll just refresh it and yes as you guys can see we now have uh, okay let's cut it down let's uh, cancel all this so we have uh, our our uh, meal generator uh, website over here that is our uh, demo website which is loaded in this e e url which you guys can check it out i'll give the link in the description below so now it is not just in our lo local uh, system but it is actually uh, being hosted in the firebase servers and yes we have successfully managed to do it and uh, why i i have done this twice is uh, to show you guys that uh, if you guys allow firebase to create uh an index.html for itself then it will just uh, show that success page with, which uh, we have seen earlier and uh, if you create your own index.html and make uh, sure that you have the simple uh code uh stored over there and uh you also need to prevent firebase from overwriting your index.html over here and yes then you might be able to uh, do it in the first go or else you will be as uh, uh, seeing that uh, home page or that firebase welcome page over there so guys uh, in this video we have successfully deployed uh, our basic dummy uh, front-end uh, website uh, into the firebase servers so guys i hope you found this video helpful do like and share this video if you found it helpful and do subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, see more videos on Firebase web development and also uh